Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about MTG fatigue and this is a new term I'm co coining so you can uh, use that hashtag where it means too many sets are coming out too fast and it feels like they just want more money. So MTG fatigue is like Caladas is a new plane with all different new artwork with new cards. Now we have vehicles that these little creatures can drive and stuff and now we have artifact planes and it's a very interesting set and it's hyped just like every single other set is hyped but conspiracy 2 had just happened and we just finished conspiracy 2 we're not even two weeks into conspiracy 2 before we got our first spoiled card from caldas and then before conspiracy 2 we had eternal masters and then we had eldric moon and then we just have and then we'll have commander soon we had a dual deck nissa and we had it from the vault <laughs> with uh, lore I, I just so many different products are coming out at the same little time period it makes it difficult to keep up with everything and then because it makes it difficult to keep up with everything I don't want to keep up with anything if that makes sense so Caldas you have all this new lore you have all this new um, new mechanics every single mechanic I believe on Caldas is new you have all these uh, vehicle things that you're Creatures can drive now into the other planeswalkers, into the players. A lot of um, new stuff is going on. You have art books, like art books for Kaladas, where you can buy a book and you can buy art print. You have uh, various um, artists selling artwork now, which is more prevalent. Like I see those on Reddit all the time when previously I didn't. And that's fantastic because obviously owning an original painting would be pretty cool. I don't own any right now, but. I would be interested in the correct one. So you have all these various uh, forms of MTG stuff coming out and you even had MTG Funko product at one point in time, MTG Monopoly, what I don't know if we had MTG Monopoly, that might be like Yu-Gi-Oh Monopoly I'm thinking of, but you have all these different various secondary products coming out to the market and it makes it very easy to be fatigued. I def define that as you cannot keep up with the current releases because there are just too many of them. Just too many current re releases. Uh, too m I feel that it's too much. It's just too much product. And I know people can say, oh, you don't need to buy all of it. You don't need to buy any of it. But it's hard not to, for me personally, not to buy it because I get like swept in the hype. Like I'm trying to not get swept into the hype, but every set is hype this, hype that, hype this, hype that. And Conspiracy 2 is the first time I realized there is something that is not quite right with um, how they're doing it. Uh, meaning these card prices will not hold you will not be able to open a box of Conspiracy 2 even a week after release and be able to trade for equal or greater value, which I've always done. So I have to change how I look at the game and I have to change how I spend my money in the game. Otherwise, I will have fatigue. And I feel like this is something a lot of players are concerned about is too much product, too fast. We are in spoiler season forever like it just never ends and that's something that I would say would be uh, Wizard of Coast to look into it we just have way too many secondary products coming in the market at the same time in our rotation is a lot faster uh, a lot of players will experience their first rotation in Caldas and I can tell you it's going to be a brutal if it's going to be your first rotation and you had all these really nice expensive cards that were useful and valuable and you could trade them for other stuff and to find that that pile of cards is no longer worth any amount of money that is going to be a very brutal experience for the majority of players and i would say in my fnm about 50 percent of players are brand new and they've never experienced a rotation yet after rotation happens that out of that 50 percent maybe 75 of them leave the game because they realize how expensive the game actually is Anyway, bye guys.